Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to build container images with Azure Container Registry task. So to do that, let me log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So I will first of all deploy the Azure Container Registry to use the Azure Container Registry task. So I will click on create a resource. And I will do container registry. Here it is. I'll do create. I'll create a new resource group. Just container rich. Okay. I will do this assert. I'm sorry. Test assert container Okay, I'm gonna go with East US Okay, it's with I'm go with standard default default review create or I can go okay let me go with premium for now because premium uh, SKU would required for geo replication Okay, I'm gonna go create. It'll take few seconds or a minute, if you will, to deploy the container registry. Okay, deployment is in progress. Okay. There you go. So we created an Azure Container Registry. You can do it with PowerShell. You can do it with Azure CLI. You can do it with, with the portal like I did. Whatever way you like, you can do it. So next, we will build the container images with Azure Container Registry task. Okay. So let me click on Go to Resource. Okay. Suppose your company makes use of container images to manage compute workloads. You use the local Docker tooling to build your container images. You can now use Azure Container Registry task also to build these containers. Container Registry task also allows for DevOps process integration with automated build on source code commit. So we will do a bit of automation to create uh, the container images using Azure Container Registry task. So. A standard Docker file provides you with build instructions through which you create an image and from that image you create a container. Now Azure Container Registry task enables you to reuse any Docker file currently in the environment including multi-stage builds. So we will use a new Docker file. So the first step is to create a new file named Docker file. You can use any text editor to edit the file or I can go with Azure Cloud Shell as well. So if I launch the Cloud Shell Okay So Let me use this only So I'm using the same resource group to host a storage account for a file share for my commands to store their temp data while I'm using the cloud shell. Okay, let me pause the video and come back. So let me change it to bash. It is connecting terminal. Okay, I'm going to type in code. It will launch a text editor. I'm, I'm going to paste the content here. Okay, so if you would see, 
First of all, let me save this file. I'll give the file name as, you guessed it right, I'm going to name it Docker file. So this configuration would add uh, a node.js application to the node 9 Alpine, right? So it is picking up the package.json file and the servers.js JavaScript file from this location. Then it will install the npm, open the port 80 and the launch command would be to node server JS, right? So I'm going to save this file and if I just roll it up and show you this command prompt. So if I do az acr build registry so my registry name is Con test user container and I'm going to name my image hello ACR task version 1 and this dot states that I'm going to place this in this current working directory okay so please don't forget the dot or the period at the end of the command. It would represent the source directory containing the Docker file, right? Because I have created the Docker file in this location, the this Docker file in this very location. It would not be able to build an image using this uh, Docker file and place it in this container registry because it would not see this docker file if I don't place dot here or if I run this in any other location I'll hit enter scanning for dependencies download complete pull complete removing intermediate container so the the you you see this it is it creates a container and then it removes the container at every step so if you would if i close the editor right you would see that it, it created a container and it destroyed that container so it is not the container that you would create so it creates a temporary container to pick up the results from the command that is mentioned above in that build file and then adds those dependencies and add runs those commands in those temporary containers every time it sees a change or to build up in a in minute right and then destroys them so those are temp containers created by these uh, commands to build an image while using our docker file Okay, so I'm going to verify the image. I'm going to say ZACR repository list name test user container output table. See, I have this image hello acr task under this registry so if you don't want to run the command if you want to see it on the portal you go to the repositories and you see this we did the same thing in the last video as well so let's continue what we were doing okay so this hello task image is now ready to be used.
all right so now you know how we create an image using the azure cli and then how we will use this to deploy to the azure container registry task so, so i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day